as you probably noticed, there's no calculator app on the iPad. So what can we do about it? When you search for the term calculator on the App Store, there are so many apps that just pop up and I pretty much downloaded all of them. And make sure to watch till the end because I'll be rating them all and letting you know which one you should use. But first, what are the options and methods in case you don't want to download any apps? At first, if you don't want to download anything, you can still use some built-in features. You can still get the spotlight search and there, if you are on the home screen, you swipe down, you can literally type in like a simple equation and it's just going to spit out the result. You can even use it for conversions and things like that and it's always accessible so you don't need to download anything, it's just always there. Also you can use the Apple Pencil to scribble the numbers and things right there so it's even more convenient. Plus you can use Siri commands. So if you just activate your Siri or you hold down to the side or power button on your iPad, you can just ask those questions so you don't even have to type anything. It's also built in naturally. Plus, you can just open up Safari and just go to Google and type your equation there. It's just very simple, like type in 11 plus 22 or whatever, and Google will also give you the result quickly. Okay, but now let's get to the apps. When it comes to downloading third-party apps from the App Store, we want to make sure that we only get the best ones. So here I am quickly rating all of the apps I downloaded. I personally tested them all, I'm not affiliated with them, so let's just get started. And also, at the end I'll show you my top 3 picks that you should actually download for your iPad. So the first one on the list is one called Calc. And this one works only in Portrait, the downside is that you get ads. You can actually pay 3 euros to remove them, but it's a calculator app, so ads are annoying and only the most basic functions. On the other hand, you have multiple themes and color variations, but still, many things lack. I give it a 3 out of 10. The next one on my list is Calc Pro HD. And the downside of this one is that there are ads again, and even annoying ones that take up the entire screen whenever you're doing something, you have to wait for a couple of seconds to skip them. But on the other hand, you have many functions, you have some different scientific versions, it works in landscape, you get the history to be shown right away, you can even use some currency time calculators and other stuff, and there are also settings to change the style as well as the button colors and other things, so pretty decent app, I give it a 6 out of 10. The next one is CalcBot, and uh, other features are locked in this one, like you need to pay for some things in order to access them. But on the other hand, it has a very beautiful design. It looks kind of Apple-like, I would say even. The animations are really smooth. You can see the result right away. That means that you're just typing stuff in and you don't even have to press the equal sign. You can see the result right away and right besides it, you can see uh, the whole process. So it's a very handy app, works in portrait, landscape and all of that. You don't get annoying ads and things. I give it an 8 out of 10. By the way, of course, all of the links are going to be put down below in the description so you can download pretty much any of them that you want, but stick till the end to find out which one is actually the best one. And the next one is one called Calculator with the hashtag, I'd say. So, well, it's actually not a, a, that good. So, I mean, there are so many things on the screen. It's supposed to be scientific, I guess. You also need to pay for some things. It's even a subscription based, so not just pay once. But on the other hand, you, you get many unique features. You can take photos, you can scribble on it. And the benefit could also be that you have scientific things. And you can also watch ads to unlock some different versions and uh, things in the app. So yeah, it's I guess it's like that. So four out of 10 for me. Then we have the Calculator Air. Well, the upside is that the design is similar to iPhone. It looks kind of clean. It has a widget and is just a currency exchange, but still at least something. But the downside is that it asks for money the first thing. I didn't even have to use the app and it just instantly tells me to pay for it. It also gives you the notifications. 
I mean, I have no idea what type of notifications can a calculator give you. I mean, you pay weekly for a calculator app that should have been there by default. It's a subscription based as well. So you subscribe to like a bunch of apps from the developer. So it may be good, I guess. It, I mean, it may pay off, but I don't know. I give it a six out of 10. The next one is called Calculator Pro. The downside is that it has ads. And there are full screen and on sites as well. Like the ads are all over this app. But the upside is that it has different themes. You have to unlock by watching an ad for some reason. It has currency converter built in, but I don't know if I would rely on it because the exchange rates change so quickly. But yeah, you have that at least. It also has a widget, but only shows the last result. Nothing really good about this app. I give it a 3 out of 10. The next one is a calculator with an exclamation mark. I'd say it's a Factorio in this case, but it's a basic desk theme, which allows you to swipe on it to get like different looks, but it just looks very basic and weird. Well, it gets the job done and doesn't have ads, but I just give it a four out of 10 and nothing special about this one. Then we have the calculator with, I don't even know how to pronounce this one, but it has ads which are annoying and all over the place. It has big buttons. It doesn't have any distracting features, but it's also quite affordable. I mean, yeah, if you have to pay for a calculator, it's kind of weird. But if you actually want to, it's affordable because only three euros per year. But um, there are better options out there, definitely. I give it a three out of ten. The next one is the calculator with the percentage mark. And this one has buttons that are too big, it's all a bit bulky, it has ads, it doesn't support landscape mode, and the only good thing about it is that it just works. So I give it a 2 out of 10. The next one is Calculator Plus, uh, and this one with the icon which is kind of darker because there are more Calculator Plus on the App Store. Anyways, the downside of this one is that professional features cost money, and even though it's a one-time purchase of three euros, it's still something that you have to pay for. But the upside is that it's just solid, it works fast, it looks professional, you get the history, archiving, and many good things, so I give it a 7 out of 10. The next one is also a calculator plus, but this one with the blue icon on it, you can see it right here on the screen. Well, it's pretty much an iPhone app which is scaled up. And it has ads which allow you to pay for a yearly subscription to remove it. I don't think that's a good way to go, but it's a simple to use. It has basic design. I mean, 4 out of 10. The next one, also Calculator Plus with an orange tint on the icon. Well, it looks like a scaled iPhone calculator, but it has like distracting icons for other unrelated apps, which, like I say, it's distracting and I don't think that it should be there, but it also has nice orange design and basic plus scientific functions. I mean, I give it a 5 out of 10. Then we have the calculator plus plus. Uh, I mean, the names are just getting kind of weird, but anyways, you literally have an iPhone app on your iPad screen with ads and with the weird layout when it comes to landscape. On the other hand, it has a nice color combination, I'd say, but nothing really that good about it. So I give it a 3 out of 10, which is pretty low. The next one is called Anacalc FX, and this one also has distracting ads, like you can see these sherries and things which simply don't belong in the calculator app. And you can even pay monthly and yearly or even one-time purchase to go pro, and it's not really for a regular user. It has many functions, like it's supposed to be scientific and things, so I don't think that you should actually download this one. So again, I give it a 3 out of 10. The next thing here, we have a calculator called PCalc Lite. And it says light, so pro features are paid for, but you at least have the light version, so no ads are gonna be there. So nothing annoying popping up or anything like that. You have a nice look and feel, it just feels professional. You have some customizations like digit style colors, sounds when clicked, and things like that. It's overall a pretty good looking app, in my opinion, so that's why I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. And the last one is one called a Scientific Calculator, and 
this one doesn't have a portrait mode which kind of sucks and only the most basic functions are part of it of course considering that it's called a scientific calculator and it's not really scientific at all and the upside is that it almost looks identical to iphone so you're kind of getting used to it i mean you don't even have to get used to it because it's the same thing and there are also no ads it's simple to use but that's pretty much it i don't i still don't think that you should go for it this one i give it a 5 out of 10. Okay, so this video is getting a lot longer than I actually expected it to get. Anyways, the best apps, the best calculator apps on the App Store that I actually think you should download are these. And you've probably noticed this because of the rating, of course, but uh, here we go again. So I think you should download the CalcBot. It looks nice, it's sort of looking blue and professional. I like this one and I mentioned the reasons why. Then you should also get the PCalc Lite and the calculator plus with the dark background i mean i'm referring to it to it this way because there are multiple calculator plus apps so that's why you know which one i'm talking about i'm gonna divide it in the description of this video so you can see the best apps if you just skipped all the way till here that's good you found about these apps and you know which one you should use for your ipad the video is going to have chapters so definitely you can skip around and do whatever you want Anyways, I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be. So that's why I'm ending the video right here and letting you know that you can do whatever you want to support me if you want to and if you found value in this video. So that means you can leave a thumbs up, you can subscribe for more videos like these, you can leave a comment which I will probably reply to in the future, and yes, just stay tuned as well. Thanks a lot for watching, see you guys later.